Hey, all right, today we're gonna do Battle of the 165s. We got Tyler, Brandon, and Will. These dudes, some strong motherfuckers. I'm gonna make it interesting though. So we're gonna throw a little cash on it though. So this, 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 this gets everybody a little excited in here. When you got, when you got a little cash on the ground, it gets them, it gets them a little bit more excited out here. Oh, it's who got it, cause like Brandon got this crazy front squat, and then you know the competition part of it. Like Will's got the squat on the board, but he just got done competing, and Tyler don't say nothing. So we're gonna see what happens today. I can't wait. Brandon's winning one though. are on squat is the reason why I wanted to push this narrative to give them a reason to like push each other to another level. Tyler, the most quiet of the group. What you what wanted, 375? Yeah, 375. So what you guys saw in the video, 375, they both tried it multiple times higher. He didn't have to try it multiple times higher, but Will came back a couple times. Brandon just missed it. And for you guys that don't understand what's happening, we had a monster band, which is about 120, and we had a red band, which is 100 at the top. So he had 375 make bar weight plus 220 pounds of band tension of a combinating resistance all the way at the top, which is pretty nasty. And Will's the one with the board number. Yes. So yes. that right there is, is the competition, because the chalk, that's what, that's what everything is. So Tyler, what, when I sent that text out last night, what was your thought process on this? I mean, you know, it's always a competition here but that just kind of sets the bar another level. So you got to bring that just a little bit extra intensity. Um, and you know, that's the thing about competing here. I mean, it, it, at the drop of a hat, you know, you know that you can, your name can be called. So, I mean, it's, you got to be ready at all times. Yeah, that's what I love about it. And you're a sports guy, so yeah. having that still in your life is kind of yeah. important, isn't it? Oh, for sure. I mean, it, you always have to have that competitive mindset. I mean, that's how the successful, successful people get to the top. Uh, you got to have that mindset, so. So if y'all don't know about it, we don't tweet about it, we be about it out here. Be about it. <laughs> 